Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, triangle ABC along with this uh, angle bisector CD as you can see in this uh, diagram and as a result we get uh, these angle uh, ACD as 60 degrees and likewise uh, the other angle uh, BCD as uh, 60 degrees as well. And furthermore, uh, this uh, side length uh, AD is uh, 7 units. And this uh, side length uh, BC is uh, twice uh, as uh, this uh, side length AC. And now we are going to calculate all the missing side. We're going to calculate uh, this uh, side AC, this side uh, BC, this uh, side uh, CD, and finally this side uh, DB. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We have been given that uh, side length BC equals to 2 times the side length uh, of AC. So if I call uh, this side length uh, AC as lowercase a, then this side length B is going to be twice of that one. So that's going to become 2 times A. Now let's recall the angle bisector theorem. If we got this uh, triangle ABC along with this uh, angle bisector CD, then the ratio of these uh, side lengths A and uh, B is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, X and uh, Y as you can see in this uh, equation. In other words, uh, A divided by B equals to X divided by Y. Let's assume that this uh, side length uh, is uh, Y. And in our case, this is our A, this is our B, this is our X, uh, and this is our Y. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So that's going to give us A divided by 2 times A equal to 7 divided by Y. And now we can see that this A and A, they are gone. So therefore, we are ended up with the 1 divided by 2 equal to 7 divided by Y. Let's go ahead and cross uh, multiply. So therefore, 1 times Y is going to give us Y equal to 2 times 7 is uh, 14. So therefore, our this uh, Y value turns out to be 14 uh, units. And that is our uh, DB length. And here's our next step. Let me go ahead and extend uh, this uh, straight line BC. I'm going to extend uh, this way. And now we know that this whole uh, straight angle is uh, 180 degrees. And here's our next step. Uh, we have constructed uh, this uh, right triangle uh, AEC by drawing these auxiliary lines uh, AE and EC as you can see in this uh, diagram. And now in this uh, right triangle uh, AEC, we know this angle is uh, 60 degrees, uh, this angle is uh, 90 degrees, uh, and we know that the sum of the interior angles in any triangle is uh, 180 degrees. So therefore, uh, this angle has got to be 30 degrees. And now we can see that this is our special uh, 30, 60, 90 triangle, and I have just copied this one over here. And now let's make an observation. We know that this 30 degrees is our smallest angle. So the side opposite to that angle is going to be our smallest leg. And this uh, 90 degrees is our largest angle. So therefore the side opposite is going to be our largest uh, leg. So in such kind of a special triangle, the largest leg is twice as the smallest leg. If the smallest leg is x, then the largest leg is going to be 2 times x. And this uh, third leg is going to be x times uh, square root of 3. So therefore, our EC length is uh, x. Our this uh, AC length is uh, 2 times x. And then AE length is uh, x times uh, square root of uh, 3. And now we know that uh, this uh, side length uh, BC is uh, twice of the side length uh, AC. If this is a uh, 2x, uh, then this side length has got to be 2 times that is going to be 4x. So therefore, this whole uh, length uh, EB is going to be sum of this uh, EC and this uh, BC. This is x uh, plus 4x uh, is going to give us uh, 
5x and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AEB whose uh, side lengths are 5x uh, and uh, x times the uh, square root of uh, 3 and this side length uh, AB is going to be the sum of these uh, two individual side lengths uh, 7 plus 14 so that is going to give us uh, 21 and now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle AEB and here's our uh, Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and call this longest leg as our side uh, c I'm gonna call this side a and this side uh, lowercase b so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula a square in our case is uh, 5x uh, whole uh, square plus b is uh, x uh, times the uh, square root of uh, 3 whole square equal to c in our case is 21 whole square let's go ahead and simplify that is going to give us 25 uh, x uh, square plus uh, this is going to give us uh, 3 x uh, square equals to 400 uh, and uh, 41 on the right hand side let's combine the like terms so that is going to give us 28 uh, x square equals to 441 let's divide both sides by 28 to isolate x square so x square turns out to be 441 divided by 28 now let's go ahead and undo this square by taking a square root uh, on uh, both sides so we got uh, x uh, equal to square root of uh, 441 divided by square root of uh, 28 and now we know that the square root of 441 is simply 21 and now let's focus on the denominator uh, square root of 28 and here I have copied it down and if we simplify that one is going to give us uh, 2 times the uh, square root of 7 so therefore our x value is going to be 21 uh, divided by 2 times the uh, square root of uh, 7 and now let's focus on this uh, fraction and here I have copied it down and we got uh, this uh, radical at the denominator so therefore we are going to rationalize this denominator by multiplying by square root of 7 on the top uh, and the bottom at the same time so therefore at the numerator we got uh, 21 times the square root of uh, 7 divided by square root of 7 times square root of 7 is going to give us uh, 7 and 7 times 2 is going to give us uh, 14 and now we can see 21 and 14 uh, reduces to 3 divided by 2 so therefore our this uh, right hand side has been reduced to 3 times square root of 7 divided by 2 so therefore uh, our uh, x uh, value turns out to be 3 times uh, square root of 7 divided by 2 and now let's focus on this uh, side length uh, AC which is uh, 2 times X uh, and our X value is 3 times square root of 7 divided by 2 so we got AC equals to 2 times X uh, and I'm gonna replace this X by this uh, X value so AC length uh, turns out to be 2 times uh, 3 times square root of 7 divided by 2 and here 2 and 2 are gone so our AC length uh, turns out to be 3 times the square root of uh, 7 so thus our side length uh, AC turns out to be this one uh, 3 times the uh, square root of uh, 7 and furthermore our this uh, side length uh, BC is uh, 4 times X uh, as you can see over here so therefore I'm going to replace this X uh, by this uh, 3 times square root of 7 divided by 2 as well so therefore our this uh, BC length is going to be 4 times uh, 3 times square root of uh, 7 divided by 2 and if we simplify this thing our uh, BC length uh, is going to be 6 uh, times uh, square root of uh, 7 so therefore our this uh, BC length uh, is going to be 6 uh, times the uh, square root of uh, 7 so thus our uh, missing uh, side length turns out to be AC equal to 3 times square root of 7 BC is uh, 6 times square root of 7 and uh, DB is uh, 14 
and now we are going to calculate the side length uh, CD and now let's recall another angle bisector theorem according to this theorem uh, in this uh, triangle uh, ABC our side lengths are A B and this uh, side is X and uh, Y and this angle bisector is represented by lowercase s then our angle bisector s is going to be equal to square root of a times b minus x times y let me go ahead and label our this angle bisector as s i'm going to call this side a this side b this side x and this side y so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula so s is going to be let's go ahead and plug it in this value a is uh, 3 times uh, square root of 7 times uh, 6 times uh, square root of 7 minus uh, 7 times uh, 14 and now if we simplify this part uh, inside this radical uh, square root of 7 times square root of 7 is going to give us 7 times 3 times 6 uh, is 126 uh, and 7 times 14 is uh, 98 as you can see in this uh, next step so therefore s value turns out to be square root of uh, 28 and if we simplify this thing uh, our side length s uh, turns out to be 2 times uh, square root of uh, 7 and we know our side length s is same as uh, side length cd so therefore our side length cd turns out to be 2 times the square root of 7 and here are our all the side lengths that we figure it out as you can see over here and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye